Hi, my name is Carlos Robles. I'm a principal product manager on the SQL Developer Experiences team. In this video, I will walk you through the version 1.33 of the MSQL extension for VS Code. In this demo, I will show you how to create and use a fully local SQL Server container using the MSQL extension for VS Code. This new feature makes it incredibly easy for you to spin up modern SQL Server containers that are perfect for local development, prototyping, or even testing AI features like vector data types. In this VS Code environment, I already have the latest version of the MSQL extension installed. And as you can see, I have this connection group for my cloud databases. But I want to do some local experimentation before I push new changes to my upstream targets. That's where the new local SQL container feature comes in. To get started, I'll go to the connections view and select the create local SQL container from here. The experience starts with a quick overview and as you can see, uh, all the information in the screen tells me that I can create SQL containers in just a matter of seconds, no manual setup required. You can pick from multiple SQL Server versions, including SQL Server 2025, which is a default option that includes built-in AI capabilities like vector search, vector data types, and JSON enhancement. I'll go ahead and click Get Started. Before continuing, the extension runs a few checks, as you can see. The first one is to make sure you have Docker installed. The second is to make sure your Docker engine or Docker service is started in the machine. And the third is checking the Docker engine configuration. So my environment passes all the prerequisites, so I'm ready to uh, go with the next step. Now I can configure my container. I will use the default image SQL Server 2025 and provide a password here. You have the option to save the password and provide a name for your connection name. For me, because I have the local databases connection group, I'm going to call this local dev. As you can see, there is an advanced option section here that allows you to configure your container further. If you want to change the container name, the port, or the host name. The extension automatically checks for all the different ports in use and it's going to use the next one available in case the 1433 it's in use. In this case, I'm not providing any port because I want the extension to do that for me. Last step is to accept the end user license agreement and I'm going to go ahead and select create container here. The extension takes care of everything. It pulls the image if needed, it will start the container. It also monitors the SQL Server logs to ensure that all the databases are fully recovered. And once the container is ready, it will connect automatically and I don't need to run any terminal commands or any Docker CLI. I will just click finish and that's it. Okay, so my container is ready now. Go ahead and connect from here. So you can see that my connection is ready. I'm going to move this connection to my local databases connection group. And uh, let's go ahead and create a database just to test this out. I have this file and I'm going to use this new capability here in the extension that allows me to connect from here really quick. I'm going to select my local dev and I'm going to execute this query. And there we go. With a few couple clicks, I have a database that has tables and objects here. And all of this is running here on my local environment using the latest version of SQL Server, which is 2025, that allows me to build AI-ready apps. If we want to learn more about the MSQL extension from VS Code, make sure to check out the links in the video description below. And for now, that's all. Thank you for watching and happy coding.